Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, October 3rd, and today we will cover the trades for Yield Max Funds, Tesla, Kony, NVIDI, and Misty, and AMZ, of course. Um, iPhone did an upgrade. I don't like it. Um, it's kind of affecting me uh, navigating my screen recording. But anyway, um, let's move forward. It's shout out time, by the way, guys. It is time to give a shout out to a good, great YouTuber who's up and coming, who makes really good videos, non-finance related though. Um, he's a member of the community and has been so for quite some time. He attends the 6.30 a.m. premieres uh, and actually helps people out with appliances during that time if they have questions. So, But he's a good dude, which is why I want to give him a shout out. Right now, he has 707 subscribers. So I think we can get him to the 1,000 mark before the end of this month. That should be pretty easy. Um, so in his videos, <clears throat> he fixes <clears throat> a lot of appliances. And during that time, he, he's actually pretty entertaining. So uh, I would recommend checking him out and giving him, uh, you know, a sub, a thumbs up, a comment. And, you know, go from there. Uh, but I figured I'd give him a little exposure this morning just because he's a good guy and uh, he deserves it. And I think we can get him to 1,000 subscribers. So uh, shout out to LA Appliance Guy. All right, now let's get to it. So yesterday, you know... Group A declared. We know that. I made a video. We're not going to go through that. But there was, um, I listened to, uh, you know, Kamir's channel last night and people were confused about the payout structure. So I figured, let me cover that real quick because uh, there may be confusion in the space about this. So YMAG, YMAX, and, and Group A, right? So this is the, the current week. They declared yesterday ex-dividend dates today. Now, obviously, <clears throat> YMAX and YMAG, you know, they declared as well, right? However, it's basically starting fresh next week. Whatever they declared for this week was applicable to the final monthly distribution, you know, of, of the original setup. So anything YMAX, YMAG, consider it done, right? Now they're starting based on the group's next week okay so ymax and ymag on the 9th october 9th they will declare a distribution which is based on what they got paid from group a because again they own the group a funds they have to wait until payment date to get paid right and then you know payment date being the fourth obviously they can't pay us that money before they get it so they get paid group a just like we do on the fourth right and they'll have that money and then they'll use it for the next week and then they'll declare on the ninth how much of that can go to each individual based on how many outstanding shares are owned at that time. And then the same thing for the following week, week right? Group B will announce next week. They'll announce what they pay. They will pay on the 11th, right? And then YMAX and YMAG will declare on the 16th what they're going to pay based on what they got from group B, okay? Hopefully that made sense. I tried to simplify it, uh, but again, watching this live stream last night, it kind of, you know, it wasn't live, but it kind of uh, reminded me that people may be a little confused with that. I know there were a lot of interviews where Jay explained it, but I figured maybe it's forgotten at this point, so it's better to explain it, okay? So let's move on. Let me uh, get out of here. All right. So who had trades? Uh, Tesla had a trade. NVIDIA had a trade. Kony, of course they had a trade. And that's it. So three. All right. So let's go through Tesla first. What they do, BC by the close. They closed out the call for the week. Paid 14 cents. And what they got there. And then they sold a new call into next week. Look at that. Look at that execution price. I was like, holy crap. Holy crap, 480. Anyway, and they BC'd another call, 280. It's 10 cents. Nice. And then look at that, 412. Man, I looked at that. I'm like, oh man, they're in the money. But let's take a look, guys. Let's take a look. All right. So I got to go here. Back to the spreadsheets. And am I in Tesla? Yes, I am. Okay. 
So here we are in Tesla, synthetic 245. Um, 1,315 contracts just hanging out, waiting, waiting, waiting. You know, they're just above it, but again, they got 40, 44 days at this point. The other one, um, they're actually under now, 2.35% under, which is fine. Okay, 44 days. But again, yesterday's trades were not based on synthetics. Keep in mind, we're also in a brand new tab called the October tab. So it's a party. So uh, yesterday, Tesla went down 3.49%. I guess um, their deliveries were not as fantastic as the market would want. So Tesla tanked, you could say. Uh, Tesla also went down 3.39%. So it was a rough day for Tesla and Tesla. But let's take a look at the trade and see how they look. I hope I hit, uh, I hope I turned the mic on. This early in the video, I'm thinking I didn't turn the mic on. Could you imagine? Anyway, so they paid 14 cents, column I, close price, 14 cents and 10 cents, right? So based on what they got, 303, 257, obviously that is a win. So if you look over here, the call debits, essentially nothing. So profit, 8.4 mil, profit, 324K, win, win. So two wins in the books, annualized yield, one was 57%, one was 49%. So you can't go wrong. That's good money right there. Again, we pay them to do options trading and win, and they won. So good job. Now, what about next week? All right, so today's Thursday. So two days for this week, five days for next week. Um, seven trading days. Okay, 29,148 contracts. They chose a 270 strike price. Eight point. <clears throat> Four, three percent out of the money, and they annualize seventy-eight percent. Look at that. You know why? Look above thirty-day IV, seventy percent. Tesla is freaking volatile as hell because they got this delivery crap coming out. They got earnings coming up. Tesla is gonna have some nice IV, you know, up th until earnings. Obviously, after earnings, it will drop. But let's enjoy this sweet as premium until then. And they also have 1,315 contracts. They chose a 272.50 strike on that, 9.43% out of the money. Is that is that far enough out? I mean, <laughs> for Tesla, you never see them go that far out. But they went that far out, and they still yielded 67%, 78%. Again, pretty damn good. Uh, this is the beauty of IV. This is why Misty is able to go further out of the money and still make that damn good yield, all right? So anyway, let's move on. So that was the trade. Outstanding shares. People sold out. Why? Probably because Tesla was tanking and they were worried. I don't know. All right. So here's the recap. This is October. Again, one day in. 30-day IV, 70%. Yes, we love that. Outstanding shares, 52675000 Total net income, $14 million. So that's a distribution already. Already $0.27. Cents. Daily income, because there's one day, 27 cents. So obviously that's going to mess up the rotomator. Um, daily yield, 1.96%. Annualized yield. Yeah, we're getting ridiculous here. So let's move on to the next tab. All right. Reaction. Tesla fund manager said, I'm collecting that money. Since I'm paying you, right? We just declared a pretty damn good distribution. Maybe a little too much, but... I'm cashing out for this week. I'm taking my win and I'm going to the bank. All right. Next declaration, guys, is on October 30th. So we got some time. All right. Let's go to the October. Actually, no. First, we will look at September. Just FYI, they did pay $1.09. Okay. I'm showing they made $1.03. So they paid six cents more than what they should have. That's just what I have on my records. All right. Informational. Anyway, October has no synthetic income yet. They do have weekly call income of 14 million, and that comes to about 27 cents per share. They also already have two wins for the month of October, so great job. All right, don't worry about this Rodimator. It's gonna be a little crazy. Yep, there it is, a little nuts right there. Because again, they did, they've been essentially, this month has been one day in, and they did a massive trade. They did a weekly trade. So of course the rotomator is going to be all screwed up, but we can pretend. Yes, next next payment seven fifty. Woo. Anyway, let's look at the IV. Based on that, seventy percent IV, eighty cent payment. However, 
based on how they how much they just paid, they just announced the I don't know where they get that dollar nine from. Woof. Probably because they knew they were closing out, you know, making money yesterday, right? Maybe they used that money towards it. I don't know. Okay, outstanding holdings, nothing to really talk about. The synthetic expires in a ways, and then the weeklies have just been established. So we'll let that play out. Uh, total net assets, 662 mil. Uh, the NAV is 1258. The trade price is 1369, but that was, that was as of the close yesterday. The total net assets do reflect the drop in the distribution, right? What was the distribution? Payment, dollar nine. It's dropping dollar. Well, there's always a difference, um, but it shows dollar eleven difference. But whatever. So yeah, today um, is ex dividend date. So most of us who own a lot of yield max are gonna have a red account. Uh, but most of us like to buy on ex dividend date typically too. So anyway, that's the update on Tesla. So who else had a trade? If we go back to here, we go to Nvidia. Uh, what do they got? They got a buy call, a sell put, a sell call. Okay, this just means they're adding, baby. They're adding 1,600 contracts to the current synthetic position. And then they sold a weekly call. This one expires next week. All right, so now let's uh, go back to our spreadsheets because people love spreadsheets. All right, so we got a synthetic 119. This one... Where is it? Here we go. 1,600 contracts added. It was essentially a wash, right? Cost 840 on the call, got an 837 credit. This is the point of doing both, right? We want it essentially uh, to be free, right? Obviously, it costs sometimes, and sometimes we get a credit. But either way, it was like a free transaction. But they added 1,600 to create the synthetic position. The idea of the synthetic position is to mimic the movement of the underlying. In the example here, the underlying is NVIDIA. All right, so their synthetic expires November 15th, 44 days until that date. Someone mentioned to me, can you add the group of each fund? So like here, this is group B, right? Where am I going to put it? I don't know. Let me know in the, in the comments. All right, so I always do mention it, though. I don't know if that helps, but maybe some people don't actually listen to the video. All right, NVIDIA went up one58 Eight percent yesterday. Nvidia went up one point five one percent. So good, pretty good day. Um, zoom out. Let me get all this crap in there. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, okay. Here we go. So, all right. First, let's look at the trade they just made. Sixteen hundred contracts. One twenty three strike price. Three point four nine percent out of the money. Ooh. Annualized yield, 57%, so 9% more than the 30-day IV. Little aggressive, but okay, it's only 1,600 contracts. So we're 3.49% out of the money for seven trading days. Oof. All right, so let's take a look at what we got going for the week. All right, so for, for what expires tomorrow, 43,820 contracts, 123 strike, 3.49% out of the money. Same strike as next week's. All right, so that one, is it okay? Who the hell knows? We'll see what happens today. 1,400 contracts, also 123, 3.49% out of the money. 123, that's a big number this week. Now, for next week, we also have the 43,820 contracts, 120 strike price. That's 0.97% out of the money already. But they do have the credit call spread on that one, all right, at 124. So if it blows past 123, the 124 can help, right? Obviously, it has to go to 125.36 to be worth a damn, but we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. It's really interesting week for NVIDIA. All right, outstanding shares did increase 550K. 30-day IV, 48%. Outstanding shares, 45 million, 775,000. Weekly, Losses, 22 mil. All right, let's move on to reaction. Uh, welcome. Welcome new shareholders. People bought in, 550K. So we welcome you to the group. Hopefully, we're welcoming you to this channel. Um, so yeah, glad to have you. Six days until declaration date. 
you know, when they buy the NVIDIA fund, they should also uh, send out an email. All right, welcome. Thank you for purchasing. Here's the Retire on Dividends YouTube channel for you guys to watch. All right, someone should uh, tell Jay. That should be part of the process. All right, so declaration date is 10-9. Uh, so the next week, we got Group B announcing NVIDIA is the, the, uh, the captain of Group B. And they basically decide what we're getting. All right, let's see. September, where do we stand? We do have synthetic income, 18 mil. However, our short call income losses exceed that because uh, that's 22 mil. So we can't really talk about total income or short call income. Rodimator is useless. IV being 49% still shows a decent payment of 96 cents. Why? Because NVIDIA actually, you know, it, it recovers pretty well and it's at a decent price. So that being said, what do we got? We got the synthetic hanging out. Again, their synthetic expires 11.15 as well. We have a ways till that. Um, but yeah, we got some uh, We got some 10 fours here. Obviously 123, very important. Um, how's it gonna end, right? How's it gonna end? Right now it costs 39 cents to close. Um, if NVIDIA or NVIDIA kind of goes down today, they can make a decision, close it out early, take the win. But then will they sell calls into next week at that lower price or will they wait a day? So they never really do that anymore. They used to do that. They don't do that anymore, but we'll see. Although Friday seems like it's always red, so maybe that's not a good idea. All right, uh, total net assets, what do we got? We got a bill, all right? And then we got NAV of 23.52. Trade price 23.56. See, it's unusual. Usually, uh, the uh, you know the total net assets will reflect the distribution, but they didn't. I don't know why. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, but in the open, you know, we should see the drop. I'm just wondering why. Let's check out the cash. Right, the cash is actually negative, so I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I did check my formulas, but whatever. It's gonna. Oh, duh! Oh my god! I'm a Dumbass. NVIDIA. <laughs> NVIDIA is part of Group B, so of course they didn't drop. Holy crap. Um, but yeah, so ignore that comment. But yeah, anyway, let's move on. All right, so Misty did not have a trade, but let's cover it before we get into Coney Amzi. So here is Misty. Misty has a 160, okay? This expires in 16 days, and now, guess what? They're 2.99% above that now. Good, good, good. Misty, I think they had a good day. Let's see. Well, not a great day, but MSTR did go up 1.2%. MSTY went up 1.06%. Okay, sweet. Sweet, sweet. All right. So, um, what do we got here? Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. All right, so expiration date tomorrow, 33,490 contracts, 175 strike price, 6.29% out of the money. Uh-huh, okay. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We got two days. Should we close it out early? Should we not? I don't know, man. We'll see what the, uh, the uh, um, oh my God, the pre-market looks like. Can't even talk. Cricket is here, by the way. Cricket is somewhere in here. He's a... He's a quiet cricket. Maybe he's shy. He doesn't want to hang out with us, but uh, he's here. I know a lot of people, they enjoyed the cricket noise, all right? Maybe they enjoy that versus actually me talking, but I don't know. I got one negative comment about the cricket. The poor cricket, though. We can't be mean to the cricket. Can you hear him? Okay. Anyway, let's move on. We'll see how it goes. Outstanding shares increase, 175K, sweet. All right, 30-day IV is broken. I don't know why. I'm sorry, but it's broken. Um, hopefully, I'll just, sometimes, usually crap like that just fixes itself, so I'm not going to worry. Uh, outstanding shares, 22.4 mil. Total losses, weekly income, loss, 32 mil. Reaction, happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Yeah, I know it's not Ren Stimpy, but... It um, so far they're winning, so it's a good time. Twenty days. We still got freaking twenty days till declaration date, right? You know my different car payments due, and I'm still waiting on this misty payment. All right, what do we got for payment information? We do have synthetic income, sixty-eight mil worth. 
Um, so let's deduct out the ter 32 we lost on the weeklies. That's a net income of 35 mil, total net income of $1.59. So again, we still have 20 days. So this number can get better and better and better, we'll, but we'll see how, how things progress. Okay, so, oh, by the way, 10 wins, seven losses. Uh, Rodimator, useless, and unfortunately the IV uh, part is useless because the IV is not working. All right, so we look at the holdings. What do we got? We got a lot of stuff here. Again, um, they're synthetic. It expires very soon, right? We're in October. It expires October 18th. It's valuable at this very moment. So we're in a good spot. We could possibly win the weeklies, and we could cash out in a good way on the synthetic, which would be a non-synthetic bailout, right? It, the synthetic would actually be used to just make money. It won't be used because we got our ass kicked on the weeklies. Haven't seen that in a while, but let's hope, right? R right now between the two, they can make 11.3 mil. If we see if we can add that to here, obviously that would do, you know, do us some favors, increase uh, the total payment per share estimate. Um, total net assets, 552 mil. The NAV is 2464, trade price 2460 yards. Four cent fluctuation, but yeah, yeah there's no freaking ex dividend day here either. Okay, okay, I'm done talking. Just kidding. Here we go. All right, so Coney, um, yeah, Coney, 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 you annoying bastard, Coney. My God, you are relentless. You're like the annoying kid in the classroom. Go away. All right, what do they do? They 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 got rid of the gold digger, man. They got rid of her. Do you believe it? Oh man, that that gold digger's gone though. What they have to pay her off? Thirty three fifty nine per share. Oh my god. Ah, uh, the poor guy was left with a dollar ninety. That poor guy is us, by the way. And the gold digger took a lot of our money. So she's gone though. We moved on, and we welcome our cheap date. You know, she ain't bad looking. She ain't as hot as the gold digger. She ain't bad looking, but we can afford her ass, all right? Because she's a 165er, all right? We will take the 165er and we will welcome her. Look at that. Essentially, you didn't cut what it cost us. Nothing. In fact, she, she actually paid us, right? We got a 20 cent credit per share for, for welcoming her, you know? She just needed the love. So welcome our cheap date. Bye-bye, you stinking gold digger. I hope you're happy with our money. All right, so moving down, what else happened? Well, they you got an S, sold call, and then you got a BC, BC, closed close call, close call. All right, look at the BC first. They paid 23 cents per share. Obviously, that's a win, check, check. Uh, the sold call, they only made five cents, but we didn't need it, so it's fine, check, check. All right, and then they used that 11,000 contracts. They sold a call into next week. Uh, 175 strike, they got 379, awesome. And guess what? They got back up. Those are eyes, by the way, not boobies. Those are eyes. Don't get too excited. Um, eyes being eyes, you know, I got my eyes on you. I'm backing you up. I'm security. I was trying to think of a better um, way of doing it besides typing. So that's the best I could do, put eyes on there. But anyway, the credit call spread is at a 190. So 175 versus a 190. Kind of a big gap there. But uh yeah, it is what it is. All right, so let's move on to the spreadsheet. Could you imagine if this whole thing is not recorded? All right, so we'll start with Coney. I'm actually starting in the right spot today. So coin went down. It's actually not a bad day. It only went down 0.33%, um, but you figured it would have went up a little after the day before. Coney went down 0.08%, so... Let's just make sure our, yeah, our formulas are right, minus one, okay. All right, so let's take a look at the holdings. Again, you see the gold digger gone. The gold digger gone, buy gold digger. So the cheap date, she expires just before Christmas. So we can break up with her just before Christmas and save even more freaking money. Look at that. We are getting smart, right? We're getting smarter and smarter because we learned after losing our shirt to the gold digger. All right, the 185 is still hanging out. Um, she's kind of getting a little greedy there, but hopefully we can uh, control her. She expires November 15th, so we do have plenty of time. 
And then we got us hanging down here, our calls. Oof, hopefully we can make some money. Anyway, like I said, we got time. So what do we got in the middle? We got a crap load of crap, right? And I don't even know. Again, this is just chaos. So um, I highlighted the 10 fours, which is what expires tomorrow separately. We have, oh, you need the number of contracts. It's 1,000 contracts. 167.50 strike price, 1.84% out of the money. 11,065 contracts, 187.50 strike price, 14% out of the money. So the 1,000 is very close. However, it's only 1,000. So let's not give a damn essentially about that. Let's focus on the 11,000. They got 14 freaking percent. They got room, man. Come on, coin. Go up. Go up. But we do have calls for next week that are at what? 175, 177.50, 180. Those are tight. However, they do have the credit call spreads, the call credit spreads, the bear call credit spreads, the whatever spreads. We do have them as backup and we are ready. So as much as a pain in the ass as Coney is, I think they're set up pretty well, but time will tell. Total net assets, man, 608, 608 mil. The nav is 1242, the trade price 1250, 8 cent gap. But man, $12 range again. Man, are you getting sick of this as a Coney holder? All right, so let's ignore the synthetic bailout information. 30. Oh, the cricket is becoming braver and braver. Maybe they're a Coney fan. Or maybe they're pissed at Coney. I don't know. 30 day IV, 74%. IV estimate, 77 cents. Group C. Yes, this is Group C. Um, deck date for um group c is 10 16 okay that's it that's coney oh he left see we just stopped talking about coney and he leaves all right how did amazon do yesterday amazon went down 0.2 percent amz went down 0.1 percent so 50 percent all right so amazon or amz whatever didn't have a trade so what do we got? We got their synthetic. How's their synthetic doing? Uh, they got a synthetic put 185. And it's essentially at the money. Are they making money? Not yet. They could. Not a lot, but they could. But let's focus on the weeklies. Uh, the weeklies, 10, 11. Okay. These expire 10, 11. Not tomorrow. They expire next week. So where does that stand? 2.84% out of the money. Ooh, that's tight. Tight, tight, tight. I don't know, man. We'll see. All right. Let's just go down here. Total net assets, 175 mil. The nav is 1926. The trade price is 1929. And 30-day IV for Amazon, 37%. IV estimate, 61 cent. I'll take that. Group D declares on 1023. So AMZ is with Group D, which is with Misty. That declares very, very late. Uh, but I think we'll all be happy on Group D, especially the YMAX holders. Because the next week, they'll get a piece. They'll get a piece of that big payment. All right. So that's the update on all of the funds. All right. We went through it. So now, <clears throat> what are we going to do? We're going to go to the uh, pre-market, right? Let's go to the pre-market. All right. So we got marketwatch.com. Hit refresh. All right. So first, we will take a look at Tesla. Tesla is red. It's red. It's down 1.73%. It's at 240, 40, 244, 70. Tesla is red. It's down 1.43%. It's at 1242. NVIDIA is up. one. Uh, blah. It's up 0.68%. Uh, it's at 11966. NVIDIA is up 0.72%. It's at 2373. Coin is up barely, 0.02%, 164.50. Coney, $12. I mean, that sucks. It's up 0.16% at 12.52. Let's have a recovery, Coney. MSTR is up 0.51%. It's at 165.48. Misty is up 0.81%. It's at 24.88. TSLL is down 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 3.52 uh it's at 1207 so i did make a trade on tsll again i have to cover my options um at this point in time so let's go here we can go down to 
Is this, yes, okay, here it is. So yesterday I sold a put, another put. The put party is growing. This time an $11 strike price. I sold it with an expiration though of next week. I went into next week, all right? 10, 11 expiration. I got 50 cents per share. There's 100 contracts here. 100 contracts times you know, 0.5 is $50 in total. If I annualize that based on how much I earned per day, based on the amount I invested, it comes to 184% on an annualized basis, which again, really good stuff. I know, is it realistic? I mean, it is what it is. The numbers are the numbers, so I don't know what you want me to tell you. I, I typically try to um, come up, you know, when I play, I need 40% annualized. That's the minimum. But with TSLL, I'm always above 100, so it, it's always a good time. Not to mention I play TSLL very, very aggressive. By the way, guys, if you're interested in learning more about options, I did make an options video. Go to my options trading um, playlist if you are interested. There's a lot of different videos there. There's an old whiteboard video that some people like, but yes, I'll do an updated one at some point. TNA, uh, TNA is down 1.94%. They're at 41.46. I did not do a trade on them yesterday. Um, I do have a 40 and a $42 put <clears throat> that are expiring this week. So it's going to get interesting. AMDY is down 0.07%. It's at 1440. AMZY is down 0.67%, <clears throat> 1916. <clears throat> okay. Bitcoin is up 0.84%. It's at 60,692. Okay. BitX is up 1.45%. It's at 2593. I haven't traded BitX in a while. Don't have the money to because I'm trading SOXL, right? I'm playing XOXL, I'm playing TNA and TSLL at the same time. I'm nuts. But anyway, SOXL, how are they doing? All right, they're down 1.97%. They're at 3427. I did make a trade yesterday, but I lost my man card and I'll explain why. Let me show you. We go here, we scroll to the left. All right, so SOXL, if I click on it, it'll zoom in because of the stupid update change. Everything's freaking changed. But anyway, this, the day before, as you know, I did talk about, I sold I sold a put, right? With an expiration date of the Friday. It was three, essentially a three-day contract, $30 put. And I collected, I forget how much, but I collected a decent amount of money. But yesterday, SOXL went up, right? So it went up, making that same contract that I got premium on, much cheaper. So how much cheaper? It made it 12 cents. 12 cents was only 20% of that. So I closed it two days early. I closed this contract two days early. So this ended up being only for one day and I collected 80% of the original profit. So again, if I'm selling a put, which is over three days, typically I'm earning about 33.3% each day right? So if I was able to earn 60% yesterday, would I have closed this? Closed this? Probably not. But since I was able to earn 80%, when in reality, I would have normally earned 33% for the day, right? I closed it early because why? I got most of my premium up front and I got the 3000 back in collateral. Because again, $30 put requires 30 times uh, 100, which is $3,000 in collateral. So I got 3000 collateral back in my account. And I only had to pay 12 cents, which again was 20% of the original cost. So hopefully that makes sense. All right. So yeah, that's it. SOXL was the last one. Um, but yeah, that's the update. As always, uh, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. So hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you're entertained. If not, we will try again tomorrow, of course. Uh, Coney Crazy. I've been doing these. People love these. Uh, shout out to Drip Calc again, by the way. Go check out his website. It's dripcalc.com. Uh, pretty good stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'll continue to share the comparisons and we can have fun. Um, <clears throat> also, if you enjoy this content, hit the like button. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comments below. I'm going back here. I forgot to mention, I will pin his YouTube channel to the top of my comments. Um, so if you want to help out, be part of the community, because he is a part of the community, give him a sub, give him a shout out, give him a like, share his content as well. Uh, but we're going to get him to 1000 subs before the end of this month. That is for damn sure. So yeah, like I said, I'll put his, I'll pin his channel at the top of my comments. 
And that leads us to the keyword. The keyword for today, we might as well stick with LA. Um, so keyword for today, if you made it this far in the video and you want to prove it, what are you going to say, right? Sub to LA. There you go. The keyword for today is sub to LA. LA's getting a lot of love today, you know? So he better, he better show up and make a good video today and better entertain us, right? There's a lot of pressure now, LA. But uh, today's keyword, if you made it this far in the video and you want to prove it, all you have to do is type in the comments, um, sub to LA. All right, guys, um, I got to get out of here. I got to stop this video. Hopefully it worked because I, I need to go running. All right, I need to go running because I still don't have a car. I haven't even been able to drive to the gym. So I've been working out at home and running and that's, you know, has that been enough? I don't know. I just feel like blah, 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 blah. Working out at home is great, but going to the gym, you know, you can't replace it. So anyway, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. Um, but yeah, so it's ex-dividend date for Group A. What are you going to do? Also, hopefully the beginning explanation did help about YMAX and YMAG. If not, feel free to reach out and, you know, we can go from there. But I think that's enough for the day. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. I feel like I missed something, but hopefully not. Have a great day. Later.